Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I talked about the experimental update for stale build in 7 days to die, but just 2 days later, the stable version dropped. And, of course, I had to dive back in to test it for you. If you are still on the fence about whether to try a stale build this time around in 1.1, let's check this video out. I've been playing stealth for several versions, but the major shift came in Alpha 21 with the introduction of trigger spawns as zombies can spawn in an aggro state, making many players feel like stealth was no longer effective. Then in version 1.0, the armor system has been introduced, include Assassin Armor. Assassin Armor boosts stealth builds a lot. However, it may still so overpower that even dedicated stealth players, like me, start to say that it was a bit too much, as most of the time zombie will just stand there idling, waiting for your next attack. With 1.1 experimental version a few days ago, they changed it, and if you want to see how it go, I link that video in the description below. Check it out and see it for yourself. Now that stable version come out, let's take a look compare it of this stable version to the experiment version in the latest video and see how it goes. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the test from fresh spawn to late game. I'm gonna choose this house and let's see how is fresh spawn with only one primitive outfit without any skill would do to a zombie. We found a zombie, he is sleeper spawn. Sleeper spawn, even in experimental version in the last video, I show you that they are really insensitive to your presence. And yep, you can get really close even you are a fresh spawn. You can sneak around them, but there will be a range that if you close that line, they will wake up eventually. Okay, now let's see if it's different if you have skill in From the Shadow. Now I have From the Shadow level 3. I will try to go close to him. And yep, I think it's because there is a light source. And I don't have any help with the books or assassin armor. So even with From the Shadow skill, you can't rely on it alone you need armors and maybe some book buff to help you in order to stay hidden with sleeper spawn compare it to nighttime the same thing okay so they have a range you can't rely on from the shadow skill alone okay now i want to show you further on i think about mid game, you should start to get assassin armor or craft it by yourself. Um, now we're gonna test out about hidden bonus. I think in this place we'll have trigger spawn, so let's go see how it works. And I think they're around here. Yes. Let's go out the way and try to hide. Now I'm fully equipped with assassin set and I have a bonus active. I'm gonna try to hide from them. Let's see that. Can we lose them? At the moment I equip assassin set armor level 1 and I have from the shadow level 3. This is, this is supposed to be the mid game level. And now she lost me, but then she she noticed that I'm here again, but she just can't go out. So basically, it's not that OP. They can still feel your presence if you're around. Now I keep myself from the shadow level 5. And let's see if it helps. She's still under there. And now she lost me, as you can see. The stealth meter is green. I can move around a bit and she didn't uh, notice me. And she just jumped and she alert again. So basically, I feel like there's like a, a range 
circling around zombie is like a circle around them. That if you breach that branch, they will notice you. And from the shadow skill, help you to reduce that branch, that radius. So if you want my opinion, I feel like every zombie have their boundaries, have like their radius of detection. If you go into that radius, um, they will detect you. Okay, if, if like it's not, it's like a threshold of how they detect you. Feral zombie will be more sensitive. They will have like a bigger radius than normal zombie. And zombie that wake up will be more sensitive and have more radius of detection than the zombie that are sleeping, sleeper zombie. Now I'm gonna test at US army post like I did in the previous video. So now I'm fully equipped with assassin armor set level 6 and a late game gear. I have from the shadow skill level 5. Okay, so I max from the shadow skill and I have assassin set level 6. And as you can see, if you have space, you can play around with hidden bonus easily. And so far from what I see, weapon of choice really really impact your stealth gameplay. You can't use loud weapon anymore. Even pistol is like, like borderline loud. If you're stuck in a closed area like this, you can kind of still try to lose zombie, but there's a chance that they will wander around and eventually find you. So yes, you can still do it, but it's better if you have range and space. Now this is a room that I now conclude that is different type of spawn. It might have some script that once you attack one zombie, everyone will woke up no matter what weapon that you use and i feel like it's just a special place here because i try all the poi and sleeper spawn still like insensitive okay so this is like special now they woke up i'm gonna wait until they calm down Okay, now zombies are calm down. As you can see, stealth meter is green. But then even though max from shadow and who said, if I go across the threshold, they will wake up. No matter what. There's like a invisible light that they will detect you. Now for the different from experimental version, they are insensitive more insensitive to your attack so basically if you have a certain range you can start shooting them out one by one which is a great new I, I i think it's really good um and the range is quite makes sense like it's yeah you need to be far a bit to start attack them so i like this now i'm gonna do the trigger spawn okay to see the consistency of how it works to show you guys how it works and we're gonna wait I th oh my <laughs> this is the thing I feel like the, the part thing that if you are playing stealth you need to crouch you need to not be panicked because sometimes the parting of zombie to fight you is a little bit like erratic and that guy just gone off They notice me because I'm put down the block. When you put down the block, you make noise. And yeah, they're gonna come to you. I'm gonna try to lose them. I'm too close to those groups, so even I shoot arrow, they will all come to me. I need more range in order to do that. Hey. Well, I think I'm going to do this a lot from now on. Yep, I'm going to try to lose them again. Okay, I think I, think I got it. I'm going to pull back. And I'm going to wait for them. 
to calm down. So I have a certain rank. I start to try to remember which rank that I can attack with a bow. Like this kind of range, you can attack them one by one with a bow. You should wait for them to to not being alert, so you get the sneak damage bonus. And if they far like that, yeah, I can start shooting with a pistol. But they really need to be kind of really far, so those two just walk out and didn't notice me. Now, this is. The thing in what I test so far, and I'm showing you the gameplay, stealth is still really, really useful because hidden bonus is quite nice and it's quite fun. I think this is a trigger. You just need to be kind. Okay, be in climb, don't panic, don't start running. It's like herding a sheep at the moment, <laughs> as you can see. I can do this a lot of time just trying to be trying to be calm and hurting them and if they are close you can't use bow that guy noticed me I, I was too close to him I crossed the threshold you can use melee weapon melee weapon still gonna make some noise like this guy come to me immediately and just go too so yeah it's but it's a better choice and you kind of need to I'm down. I'm calming down, okay? I'm gonna show you. I don't have mist right now. I didn't spawn myself mist. But you... You can calm down like this and then... Whip up your medicine if you have. And you can survive. Okay? And hurting the, the sheep. Keep hurting the sheep. You will be fine. <laughs> it's quite fun right now. Yep, this is what you actually can do. Because hidden bonus is still effective. But you will need to be careful of your next step of which weapon of choice or which action you're going to do. Are you going to pull them back or are you going to attack them? And yes, I show you that looting will, will aggro them if you're too close. And this one is that if you open the door, the door is really loud, okay? The door is really loud. It will aggro them even they are really far away. I'm not going to put it because if I put the block, it will make noise and they will notice me. So, yep, be calm. If you want to play still in this 1.1, it I think it has its own charm. If you know what to do, I think many of veterans will, will, will notice how to do it really quick. However, the Dao part of this is that you spend so much time to separate them and attack them one by one. Okay? So you might be better off to start shooting. That's just my, that's just my point of view. Um, for sleeper spawn in the late game, you can practically step on them. That's just how insensitive they are. But once they wake up, the sensitivity change drastically. So I think my best friend now is going to be building block. It's really good and useful to deal with this kind of thing. And my gameplay is going to become like this. And you might come up with many of tactics in order to deal with this kind of thing. Because yeah, you they're going to hunt you now. They're not going to standing still waiting for next shot anymore. But it's not that crazily hard in order to lose them. As you can see, I hurt them before. Hurt them like a sheep. Yeah. And yeah, you can play around, have different tactics. But this is going to be my tactic, which is quite fun. I think people that love knife will appreciate this, this patch because it's really useful now. There you go. And yes, I I hope that these tests actually show you what you can expect from stealth build in 1.1. Okay? So from my point of view, I would say that this is a balanced version of stealth build. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's still playable, doable, 
and has its own charm. Even though it is a nerf from 1.0 because zombie is just not standing there waiting for the next attack anymore. But I feel like because of the hidden bonus, you have a choice of what to do with your stealth ability, which you did not have when you play Alpha 21. Okay, so I think it's the balance. It's like a middle between Alpha 21 and 1.0. If you really want to know how it was before this balance and I was talking about the stage of zombie, I will recommend you to watch my previous video which I will put the link in the description below. And that's about it for the test. I hope I give you some idea of what you can expect from stealth build in 1.1. And that's it for today. Let's go mama bear! Go mama bear! <laughs> okay guys. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope this is useful for you. If you have some thoughts on this change, feel free to drop comment below. I plan to add all the content into this channel, which is live. You can check out the details in the description below. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye.